Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will go over giving your clients access to the client portal and enabling them to some settings inside the client portal. Let us log into the caseworker portal. For this example, we will go into the client profile and give the client access to the client portal. However, keep in mind that giving someone access to the client portal can also be done when sending questionnaires to a new client. If you are interested in that, on this video's description is a link on how to send questionnaires. Let us continue. We will locate a client profile or create a new client profile. For our example, we will use an already created profile. Let us search for them. You can either search for an individual or a business client profile. We will select an individual client profile. You are now inside the client profile. Let us go into the client access tab on the right. From here, you will now see the option to create access for the client. It will more than likely list their email as a login name. However, you can make the login name to anything you want. The password can either be manually input or you can select for the system to generate one. Lastly, you have the option to input an expiration date. This means if the client attempts to log in after the date, they will get a message letting them know that their account is expired. If you leave it blank, no expiration date will be added. We will click on Create, and in doing so, the client has now access to the client portal. Let us now go over some settings for your clients in the client portal. The first is an Enabled box. By default, when you give someone access to the client portal, this will show as enabled. If I click to Disable, the client will no longer be able to access the client portal. If you wish for your clients to be able to log in, you want to make sure that this is enabled. Next, you will see a watermark option. Here you can input some text which will add a watermark onto any form or questionnaire shared with your client. Right below you will see some permissions for your client via the client access details. Depending on the plan you have and modules you are signed up for, will determine what permissions you can give them. If you have the billing module and enable access to billing, the clients will be able to see invoices inside the client portal. Additionally, if you enable allow deposit fund into trust account, this allows them to input funds into their trust account, which is located in the client profile. Please note, however, that for any payments you wish for your client to apply, you must have both the billing and credit card processing optional module, as well as either LawPay or PayPal linked via the admin tools. The next option is shared reports. By enabling them, you can then go into specific reports you built and enable the client to run reports via the client portal. If you enable this for an employer or an HR rep, it will format to only show clients that are linked to them via the Members tab. Please note that you must be signed up to Custom Reports to be able to share these reports with your client. The next option is Access to Send Questionnaires. By enabling this, this allows a user to send questionnaires on your behalf. This could be enabled for an HR rep or other who often requires your services for a new employee. The next option is access to initiate a case. With this option, a client can start a case for you, and once they complete it in the client portal, you will be alerted via the questionnaires form section where you can review the request and start the case. Please note that this will only work if signed up to the optional module titled initiate a case. The next option is access to schedule appointments. This works if you have an Acuity or Squarespace linked to your calendar. Your client can go and create calendar appointments in the client portal. Please know that you must be signed up to the module Acuity Scheduling. The last setting you can enable is access to send SMS messages. By enabling this, your clients can respond to any text message you send to them. If disabled, they can only view them and will get a do not reply message. This will only work if signed up to the SMS notifications optional module. Now that you have gone through those settings and given the client access to the client portal, the last thing you want to do is send an email to the client alerting them they now have access to the client portal. You will click on Email Credentials. From here, a default letter template will appear. You have the option of sending this letter template, but also, please know that you can select a letter template you created via the admin. If going that route, please make sure that you've either input the username and password or have the tag for username and password so the system can send that to the client in the email. Once you finish composing the email, you will click on Email. And in doing so, you have now sent the client access to the client portal. Before we finish, a few notes. 
If your client has not received their email, you may ask them to check their junk folder. If you ever need to review the email sent, this is logged into the log section of the client profile, where it will list the email addresses you sent it to and the message on the email. If you ever need to update their password, you can always come back to the client access tab to update their password and resend them their new credentials. Additionally, you can always come back and add or remove expiration dates, as well as enable or disable their access to the client portal. If for any reason the client did not receive an email, you may want to change the default email to info at eimmigration.com inside the admin tools, specifically going into the application settings and selecting SMTP mail server settings. Then going back into the caseworker portal, go to your user preferences and select that email as a default sender. The software will now send emails with the from email address as info at eimmigration.com. If the client can receive an email using this email address, then this will tell you that your email has advanced security settings that is impeding e-immigration from sending emails. You may reconfigure those settings if you wish to continue using your own email, or you may even change the SMTP mail server settings in the admin area to use your own mail server as opposed to the default one used in the system via SendGrid. Please note that in order to use your own mail server, you must have the advanced authentication optional module. We hope that this video has helped in allowing you to give your clients access to the client portal, as well as enabling what they can and can't do inside the client portal. This concludes our video on enabling your clients to the client portal.